I've just received an Excel 2007 workbook from my manager and saved it to my desktop. I'm now supposed to review its content. I know that the workbook contains macros because the file extension ends with an M. I also noticed that the file icon has an exclamation mark in it. I wonder what that means. I open the workbook, and sure enough, a macro security warning appears in the message bar. I know that my manager created the file and the macros it contains. I trust my manager, so I'm not worried about viruses. But I do want the macros to work and the security warning to go away. I click the Options button on the message bar, and a security dialog box appears where I can make some choices. If I click Enable this content, the macro will run while the file is open for now. But the next time I open the file, I will see the macro security warning again. I see there is another option called Trust All Documents from This Publisher. This option only appears if the macros in the file have been digitally signed by the macro developer, also known as the publisher. I can see from the security alert that Bobby Moore, my manager, signed the macros with his certificate and that the certificate has not expired. Because I trust Bobby and the validity of the certificate, I will click the Trust All Documents from This Publisher option. This way, I won't see the macro security warning the next time I open the file. The security warning is gone. Before I begin reviewing the workbook, I want to check my trusted publishers list to make sure that Bobby Moore's certificate was added when I clicked Trust All Documents from This Publisher. To do this, I'll go to the Trust Center by clicking the Microsoft Office button, clicking Excel Options, clicking Trust Center, and then clicking Trust Center Settings. I click Trusted Publishers, and I see that Bobby Moore has been added to the Trusted Publishers list. If I wanted more information, I could click View, and then look at the certificate that Bobby uses. However, I won't do that right now. The main thing for me to remember is that any macros signed by Bobby will be trusted on my computer and allowed to run automatically without displaying the security warning in the message bar. Now I'll switch to another workbook that everyone in my department uses to keep track of sales data. When I open the workbook, I get the same kind of warning message about macros as I did with the workbook from Bobby. When I click the Options button in the message bar, I see that the only options for macros are to leave the macros disabled or to enable them. I know that the macro and data connections are safe because they originate from within my department. However, instead of having to click Enable this content each time I open the workbook, I'll save the workbook to a trusted location. A trusted location is a folder where I can keep files that won't be examined by the security settings in Office. Because of this, I only save files there that I know are safe. To create a folder that I can use as a trusted location, I click the Microsoft Office button and then click Save As. In the Save As dialog box, I click My Documents and then click Create New Folder and name the folder Files I Trust. The folder can have any name. I click OK and then click Save. Now I have to make the Files I Trust folder a trusted location, and I do that in the Trust Center by clicking the Microsoft Office button, clicking Excel Options, clicking Trust Center, and then clicking Trust Center Settings. In the Trust Center, I click Trusted Locations, and I see that there are already some trusted locations listed. To add the folder I just created, I click Add New Location. To find the folder, I click the Browse button. And then, in My Documents, I double-click the Files I Trust folder and then click OK. I click OK again to add the folder. I can now see that my folder was added to the list of trusted locations. Notice that I did not make my entire My Documents folder a trusted location. Doing so would make my computer more vulnerable to viruses and other malicious attacks. While I'm in the Trust Center, I'll just take a quick look at my macro security settings. I see that I'm using the default setting that is Disable All Macros with Notification. That's good. I do want to see a security warning if there is a potential security risk when I open files not in my trusted locations, especially if I'm not sure about where a file came from and how trustworthy the source is. I'll leave this setting as is. Now I'll go back to the file I saved in my trusted location. When I open the file, I see that I no longer get the security warning and everything works fine.
Using the default security settings in Office and security features such as trusted locations are good ways to help me complete my work and stay safe.